Now let's create a stack chart in Power BI. What we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to do a stack chart. So let's just select this one here. You can drag it down. Like I said, you can hover over these and it'll let you know which one you're selecting. So this one is a stack chart. And we're going to go with region and we're going to go with sales. And we're going to also go with product. And let's get rid of, let's just do a filter to get rid of these so that we can see a few of our <coughs> product categories. And doing the stack chart, understand that you're going to get a bar for each region because we selected a region on the x-axis however they're going to stack the different product categories within a bar of the respected region so that you can see here you have the south region but in the product category you have soup that was sold in the south bread that was sold in the south beer beef apples and appetizers so these things were sold in the south region and the size of the bar lets you know the amount of sales that were made through each region so that's basically how you would look at a stack chart in power bi now let's go to format if we go to format we know that we can have the x-axis and increase that font we can also change that color and we've done this before you can also take the legend away or you can add the legend back it's just up to your liking you can take out you can take away the title and then you can just kind of move this to the center and then you can come here to your grid lines and you can change it to black and then you can turn on your data labels turn on your data labels you can also come here to increase the value size so that increases the value size and you can also turn on your total labels so you can turn on your total labels which will appear right at the top of your bar and you can also change that color to uh, black or something like that and you can actually make it dark to try to let it stand out a little bit to indicate that this is actually your total now you should know how to create a stack chart in Power BI